If you don't already know how to play, this is the best method to learn from the arrangements and videos that you download from Roaring20sUke.com. You may have listened to the song before you downloaded the arrangement and video. Listen to it again until you can sing along with it with the words in front of you. Before you can actually perform the song, you'll need to be able to sing through it without the lyrics in front of you, but right now it's enough to be able to sing through it looking at the lyrics. Nothing guides you through a song better than the lyrics. They not only tell you when the verse ends and the chorus or bridge starts, but they also indicate when it's time to change chords through big shifts in the melody. Your arrangement looks like this. Let's concentrate on the upper portion first. At the top you have diagrams of all the chords in the song. Below that are the lyrics with the chord names in brackets. Strum once for every chord on your arrangement. Sometimes the lyrics start a bit after the strum. The more you practice singing along to the song on YouTube, the easier timing the lyrics up with the strum will be. Goodbye to all care and all sorrow. I'm chasing the blues out of my way. Life's gonna start over tomorrow. I telegraphed my baby to say that I'm old. Now let's take a look at the lower half of your arrangement. This is an abbreviated version of what's up above. For example, all three verses have the same chords, so only one verse is transcribed. The complete song order is detailed in the lyric section. Listening to the original recording multiple times and comparing it to the lyrics will help you make sense of the chord chart. The chart indicates how many beats each chord is played. Each row is 16 beats divided into four beat sections. Some four beat sections are further divided into one and two beat chords. Music with a four beat rhythm pattern is referred to as being in common time, as most jazz, blues, rock, and pop, including the songs here on Roaring20sUke.com, are based on a four beat pattern. Learning how to count the beats in music will greatly benefit your ability to strum. When you listen to music, the first beat, or one, is accented or louder. Jump in sunshine, underneath the sky of blue, as I'm sailing on a Sunday on my way to you. 